Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to check for your available VRAM or video RAM in Windows 10 and 11. Should work in other versions of Windows as well. Now, video RAM is kind of important. Some games have a minimum 1 gig, 4 gigs, 8 gigs. And if you don't have enough VRAM, you can't play it. So let's find out what you have. You can't always find it on your video card, but if you have quick access to it, you might find it by looking at your card. So let's do DirectX Diagnostic Tool, Windows Key plus R. Type in DX, DI, AG. Press Enter or click OK. And we're looking for Display or Display 1, Display 2. And what you're looking for specifically is your display memory, VRAM. It's 12 gigabytes. Display one, same thing as you can see. So that's one way to do it. So now you know you have 12 gigs. Another way is in your settings. Just press your Windows key plus I. And look for display here on the right. Assuming you started in the system, which it should. So it should be right here. Easy to find. Scroll down. Let's find advanced display right here. So you can see it's quite a few more steps, which is why I did DirectX Diagnostics first. You're looking for display adapter properties right here. And as you can see, dedicated video memory, 12 gigs. And there you go. Now you know how much video RAM you have. So let's discuss a possible problem. You have a game or something you can't play because you don't have the VRAM available. So there's a couple of options. The first one isn't the best. That's to buy a new video card. If you look up your video card and see what else is new, find out how old your card is. And again, that can get a little ridiculous because a really good video card can run over $1,000 and a middle of the road could be five, six hundred, and a possible upgrade if you have a really old card could run you a couple hundred bucks to at least be able to play your game. But again, you're going to have to look up how much RAM you have, how much RAM you need. Now, if you have an all-in-one PC, a laptop, oftentimes they're onboard video cards. That means it's a chip. Your graphic card is soldered onto the motherboard. It is not upgradable. And in the case of a laptop, all in one PC, you don't have any slots, obviously, to plug a gigantic video card in. So you don't have a lot of choices. There is one, and that is to check your computer memory. If you've got 16 gigs, cool. If you've got 32 gigs, even better. Look up your motherboard, and you're going to have to go into your BIOS, and you can actually go in there and share your RAM with your video card, which can help greatly. It may not get you past the problem with not having enough video RAM though in newer games. But again, you can actually go in there in your BIOS. Again, it'll be under advanced features or advanced chipset features. You're looking for graphic or video settings. This is another cheap option because RAM is cheap, especially compared to the cost of a new video card. Although the new video cards have better technology, more RAM, it's cheap to put in, let's say you have 16 gigs, put in another 16 gigs and then share that 16 gigs with your video card. That might solve you some problems. But there you go. That's how you can figure out your available video RAM in Windows 10 or 11. Thanks for watching. As always, see ya.